I hit that button and it does not always unmute properly. I don't know why. Thank you, JC. Let's try that intro again. Hello, everyone! Welcome back to another installment of the Decursio Project. Once again, I was talking for three minutes and you couldn't hear me. <sighs> Which is better than last time when I was talking for half an hour. Thank you, JC. <sighs> Today we are going to take our moonshot. And hopefully we'll not crash into the moon. And then we are going to take Grinch's mining machine up to the moon and see how good of a job the mining contraption will do. That is the plan. But first I want to show you the things that I have worked on during the past week. So the first thing, which is what I was showing, was the spacesuit. I made two sets of the spacesuits. One for me and one for Grinch. The process to get there was the Faraday suit to the hazmat suit and then upgraded to the spacesuit. So I needed a ton of compressed steel, I needed a ton of plastic, I needed a ton of hardened glass, and I needed a ton of signalum. It was a grind. And none of you wanted to watch me grind that out. Totally understandable. So I didn't have you watch me make that grind. Because of course I not only had to do it once, I had to do it twice. And that was no fun, but we got it done. And I now have two suits of, two space suits, one for me, one for Grinch, so that we can go into space. The rocket, of course, will only seat one. So I have a celestial gateway ready to be assembled on the moon so that we can have our own teleporting capability to take us back and forth to the moon once we get there. So then, to make oxygen, you have to rely on bees. If you don't have an apiary, it is uh. extremely grindy. Oh, that's right. Uh. We have that little villager trapped up there. Huh. Anyway, it's extremely grindy. Well, to get to an apiary, I need Batania. Yeah, well, we haven't, haven't gotten far enough in Batania. Huh. There were things and huh. stuffs to do, District. I had to get ready, and it took me a little longer to get ready than I huh. planned. At least I didn't have an accident at my base huh. and had to tell people to not come. Huh. <laughs> Which I'm sure that will be an interesting conversation to have in the morning. Huh. So, I need to have materials huh. from trading through the gate. Assuming the server still exists in the morning. Well, that doesn't sound good. Did you irradiate things? Because, you know, it's probably your turn. So, I have started the process of going to uh. the portal to Alfheim. So, we are working on... Working up to runic... the or Using the runic uh. altar to make nat natura pylons. What did he say? Apparently, I didn't. Well, if you didn't, then what kind of accident did you do? Huh. Curious. Anyway, so I have expanded our number of mana pools, and I've added to the number of mana spreaders, and we've uh -huh. dumped a bunch of coal blocks into our setup so that we can be generating a ton of mana, because, oh my gosh, I need... Huh. Ah, yes, we are going to go to the moon. My hot mar now my hot bar disappeared. Uh. I need all the terra steel, all the terra steel, and that takes, of course, all the mana, uh. all the mana. So we need go into flame. 
So, I've got that producing mana so I can make Terra Seal, so I can make the Natura Pylons, so I can work on opening the portal to the elves. Okay, that sounds easy enough. So what do we need to do to make the little bees happy? Bees, okay. So maybe the bee would like a friend. This seems reasonable. So we got the bee a friend. So now we have two of them. And I put a second thing of ice in here, but they apparently both like the same thing of ice, but they have chosen to use different sides of the same block of ice. And I actually have two hives in here so that I can get double the production versus just speeding up the production in one hive. I'm doubling the production over here. So I get one bee over here, and then one bee over here. And I have learned if I forget to smoke, the bee will eventually forgive me, because yes, I have forgotten once. <sighs> Hi, Evie Navy, how are you? So I have set up the Sterling Dynamo over here to run the upgraded Centrifuge. The Centrifuge, which is... I've been burning sticks and wood and various other things to process my combs to get me the little Blizz Cubes. The odds of this is absolutely abysmal. 20% my butt. I ain't getting anywhere near 20%. I'm getting maybe 10%. So my odds have been horrible. See, now watch, I'm going to do this batch and I'm going to get really good numbers because I'm on stream. See, I'm on stream, so now it's going to be nice. Uh, I've been doing this B loop de loop over and 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 over, and over to get enough oxygen to fill two chest plates with oxygen so that we can go to the moon without someone suffocating. It's been ridiculous. So I added the second B and it's helped because I can have 20 at a time instead of 10. So I think it helps. At least I can do bigger batches at a time. We will see. I appreciate that. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to make progress in Batania to get the materials I need to further upgrade my bee house and get it to an apiary. And once I do that, then things should supposedly plug along a little bit faster and I'm gonna need more things to burn. Hang on. That 
This is the sort of grind I've been doing. Like, every night I've been able to find time to play. I did get a sweater order in, but it's the one that I can do in the evenings around certain puppies. So, I've been working on those, doing Minecraft at the same time, but I'm not very efficient at it. <laughs> but, we're making, trying to do multitasking too many things at once, I'm not very efficient at it. I'm trying though, I'm trying. I should get at least one more. Come on, I need four. Four out of 20, that should give me my 20%. Where are you? Come on. Say I'm supposed to get 20%. I need at least one more. Okay. So now if I can get one more, then I'm actually ahead. See, this works out great because while this is running, I'll be knitting several rows, then I'll do the next step, let it process, knit some more rows, do the next step, knit more rows. Definitely not streaming interesting content, I know, but this is what I've needed to do to get the oxygen for the chest plates so that we can go to the moon. Yep, see, I didn't get any more. But I got exactly the 20%, so we'll take that. We then run the Blitz Cubes upstairs to... Oh, God, another cat. I'm so tired of all these cats. Upstairs to the machine level, where we will throw these into the pulverizer, where we are using flint as our catalyst there. And I can show you that I have gotten the next two immersive engineering machines made. The rotary kiln and the steel mill crucible. And I will tell you I hate this machine with a passion. Because I got it in place and I had two blocks reversed. I had the... I had one block on this side and I had the redstone block over here was over here and the steel block that was here was over here and it was showing green everything was fine I'm clicking on it I'm clicking on it I'm clicking on it it would not form and I'm like well I had set it up mirrored I wonder if it doesn't like the mirror and so I moved those two blocks back because everything else is identical between the two sides and then it formed and I'm like son of a beaker Aww. That was kind of frustrating. But this one turns coal into um, into coal coke. And it does it at a pretty good clip. Although it appears I am out of energy. That's not a good sign. I am guessing you have drained me of energy. Yep. So this will take iron and charcoal along with power over here and give me steel, which is not coming out anywhere because I didn't put a chest down. Okay, well, we'll just take the chest seal out. And the good thing about it is it doubles your production, so one iron block becomes two steel blocks, but it has to be kept hot. But obviously I have run out of power. No surprise there. Uh, hmm. And 
then it's because I ran out of cold coke. Oh, it's because we ran out of cold coke when we were at dinner. Or did I run out of power over here too? Let me look. I think I ran out of power here too. Yep, I sure did. Okay, we need to run down the stairs. Oh wait, I gotta do this first. Too many, too many things at once. Okay, so that's 13 blitz powders. So the blitz powders then go into here. Once it fills up with water, that produces the liquid oxygen that then would go in here, get deconcentrated, go into here, and be available to be put into a chest plate. I'm going to just leave them over here for now. This is, act this is acting very goofy. I have to keep playing with the, nos the knob on the faucet to get this to fill with water. I don't know why that is. It's just, it acts very goofy. It works. It just acts in a goofy way. Okay. So do I have any more fuel in here? No, I do not. Okay, so that is empty. So that means I need to turn that off and pump more oil in. That fill with oil. I wanted to get one big batch of steel made and then I was going to disconnect the crucible because I can't afford to run it all the time. I just don't have the power reserves to do that. It would be really nice if I did, but I do not. Okay, so there's that. Come back over here and do that. So now you're gonna process the oil. That's gonna get us this, which then I can do this to send that over to you. So this is going to be on. Then I can turn this off. Wow, that did not produce very much. I'm just running my immersive engineering stuff to produce fuel. I don't have any auto crafting to speak of, so. Hopefully that's going to restock the power. I did not want to go down, I wanted to go over. Yeah. Get off that.
for now, we're going to... Oh, no, not disconnect you there. Disconnect you there. Oh, for goodness sakes. This may have to wait until I get a much more stable power source to be able to give that that boost for the preheater. I just don't have the power. I just don't have it yet. I want to. I really do want to. The other thing I did was prepare the parts for the rocket. So we had looked at this. It was a ton of compressed steel. The iron tanks also had a bunch of compressed steel. Those weren't too bad. The piece that was a little complicated was this engine, which had more iron tanks. It had these engine frames as well as engine fans. So we have all of those that we can come to our workbench. And make us a rocket. Which, contrary to popular belief, I am strong enough to carry a rocket. <laughs> yes, this glorious rocket that is going to carry me somehow to the moon. Rocket woman. Rocket woman. But before we do that, we need, of course, one more thing, which is our... Fuel bucket. So we have our fuel bucket, and we have our tier 1 rocket. And then we are going to claim the reward, which is the launch pad. So now, we... How apropos. We need to figure out where to launch from. Now, it would be very amusing to launch from that corner of the tree and have all the flames and stuff coming out of the corner of the canopy of the tree. It would be amusing. Except, I would then crash into the roof. So, can't do that. Okay, so next thought is, do we put the launch pad on the roof of the tree? Because we still have lots of wide open spaces that we have not used on the roof. Got my telescope over in that corner. I could put it over in this corner. Because I think visually it would be very cool to watch the rocket going up into outer space and taking off from the top of a giant ass tree. <laughs> I can't I can't help it. I think it would be cool. Oop. 
no, fire tick is turned off, so fire will not spread on the server. It could kill, like, animals, so, like, if there was a, a chicken or a pig or something nearby, they could get Krispy Kremed. Oh! That reminds me. We have a new friend, or a Grinch nearby. Yes, we would, we would not want to fry a Grinch. So you should probably watch the launch from a distance. I forgot, we have a new friend. No, I do not need two rockets. I'm gonna build the Celestial Gateway. He is going with me, I'm just gonna teleport him there. Damn straight we're hacking. District brought us a friend. Well, they probably have all the resources that they can afford to make two rockets. I do not, and I'm trying to catch up. So this is Winston. Winston, meet everybody. Everybody, meet Winston. Now, you're probably asking yourselves, selves, why is there a penguin in this tree? Well, yes, it's, it's visiting for the summer. Well, okay. It was a test to see if we could transport animals between dimensions, the piggyback will not work between dimensions. Avi Navy, look at that face. It's so adorably cute. How can you call that an intruder? And we all know Akumadori loves the penguins. So, District got the Pokeball. Not the penguin? I love the penguin. I think the penguin's adorable. The other intruder? Oh, that's just Grinch. <laughs> he lives here. <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. He has a hall pass. He's allowed to be here. He built the tree. <laughs> yes. So the penguin, the penguin has been has been moved into the tree via the pokeball, but I of course do not have a pokeball to put him in. Um, but he can be moved with the piggyback. Uh, but Grinch is the only one who has the piggyback. <laughs> Uh, so, he's currently living in this lovely uh, tree room until we figure out where he's going to move to permanently. And then maybe we'll build him a little snow room to to live in a zoo or something. It... Are you trying to tame the tame the penguin? I think you have to right-click him with the salmon. Unless District already tamed him. I don't know. Anywho, that's Winston. He's our pal. And we'll find we'll find somewhere safe and more penguin appropriate. Uh, I believe 
W I N S T O N. Yeah, that's. I think that's how District spelled it. Okay, so now we have to figure out how do we put fuel in the rocket, and don't touch anything you don't mean to, so you don't take off by accident. So we've got spacesuit. We take those off. We'll put that on when we're ready to go. I just don't want to don't want to do anything we don't want to. It's no, we don't want to leave yet. Thank you. Okay, so regular right click is to actually get ready to leave. <laughs> we don't want to do that yet. Okay, so JC said. It is shift right click to fuel it. But I wanted to take off at night. Ow. Ow. Okay. Shift right click with an empty hand to fuel it. Because I do have the fuel bucket. Shift. Ah. Lovely. Okay. We have fuel. So now... That. 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 that there, put that there. This is the stuff for the Celestial Gateway. Alright, so here's my sword. No, you must not shoot my rocket with flaming arrows. Dear, no. No, please don't. Please, please do not, do not shoot my rocket. Yes. It is named Yellow Mooncat. Um, torches. Fortunately, we've got two spacefaring people on, so if I need a rescue, something horrible happens, they can hopefully maybe come to an assist. I'm hoping we will not. I've made the tier one rocket, so we should be fine there. Okay, back.
Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, I'm so scared I'm going to crash on the moon. I do not want to crash and die on the moon. That would be horrible. Okay, is it space to launch? Is it space to launch? Okay, here we go. I'm so scared! I'm going up very high. Okay, how do I select the moon? I select Earth. And then I select the moon. Is it space to slow down? I'm holding space! I'm so scared. I don't want to die. Okay, you can see the Y is slowly kicking down there. We are at 300. Yes, I am wearing, I am wearing the space suit. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, look, we have a village at our landing, landing zone. Uh, we're so lucky. Okay, we have landed on the moon. You can see my oxygen is slowly ticking down. And I'm going to dismount. One small step for cat kind. Do, do, do. 
shift right click the lander with an empty hand. Okay, going in here. Shift right click the lander with an empty hand. And this will give me my empty rocket. Excellent. Okay, so first thing I need to do is build the celestial gateway so that I can get back and forth. I'm so bouncy. I'm only going to have enough oxygen for so many trips before it runs out and I have to collect enough for another round. Uh... Snap, I didn't bring the book. <laughs> um, it's, it's ruined in the corners. Engraved on, oh my goodness, I'm bouncy. And then this in the center. Okay. And there's no yellow. I can't get back to... I cannot get back home from the moon. Oh, nope. That's Wither Skeleton Spawner. There's Spawn. Oh, there we are. Katiana, Grinch, and Akumidori. Okay, so we are there. Excellent. Okay. Alright, so if we go to almost straight up and we shift right click. There we go. I have returned. Woohoo! Happy days. I'm just going to put this uh, the rocket somewhere safe. take damage I've got my umbrella in my hand I'm going right back to the moon I just wanted to drop the rocket off Grinch do you have the mining machine Excellent. Okay. All right. So now here is Moon Cat. Shift right click. You had your spacesuit on. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You're very bouncy. Okay. So, we have under gear three. 
The moon blocks of coal. I'll take that. Oh! We need 64 emerald blocks to trade with the dude. We didn't bring 64 emerald blocks. Assuming he's in here. See if he's in here. Hello? Hello? Fisherman novice. Oh my gosh, we have to find the right one. Uh... Oh, it doesn't show up as a trade? Okay. So it could be any one of the villagers would be able to give it to us. Oh, look! They're growing wheat on the moon. That isn't strange at all. No. You have steel. You guys are my new best friends. Hello. You have the emeralds. What does it say we need to do? Oh, we found the alien village, so we're gonna take that. Then it says we need to shift right click one of the villagers with 64 emerald blocks in your main hand. So shift right click on a, one of the villagers while holding the emeralds. Controller frame press. This is very interesting. They grow warped fungus on the moon. if I take your iron, do you? Because, you know, I don't think you are going to need it much. I we had just enough to do the trade. Oh my! I'm glad we had enough. Okay, so that is the trading thing we needed to do. Now we need to find some place to go to go mining. To uh, what is that?
Star crawler. That doesn't seem friendly. Portal home. Okay. And no, oh, dear. It's a zombie. Don't want to deal with zombies. I, I just want to find a hole in the ground that we can go down and Grinch can set up the mining machine. We need to find This is true We can also make a hole I just thought it would be more convenient If we had one That we could just Walk down To get down underground It would just make things easier Well, that seems like a very rude thing to do. I mean, they didn't ask for a village expansion. Where did we do the math and decide... Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's where we decided we needed to go down to like 25. And we're at 68, so we got to go down a little bit. Where where was the bottom of this village at? This is at 47. So, I mean, I suppose... You want to make a staircase down here? I'm going to take that as a yes. Can we... Oh. That's a problem. You, you can't use torches. Night. You put night vision on your helmet. Well, that was infinitely smart of you. Cat didn't think to do that. Oh, look at you go! Yeah. You didn't make a staircase. So.
Yeah, okay, this isn't going to work. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'll be right back. I need night vision. Okay, I'm going to take this off to preserve my oxygen. I don't think I have that. I'm, I'm sure I remember having a night vision book. <clears throat> now, finding it, that's of course a whole... I wish chests had search capability. Uh... <clears throat> Watch this. Grinch is going to complete like the entire mining quest. Oh, what night vision? Hi. Uh... Oh, please don't be more than five levels. Please don't be more than five levels. Seven levels! This is fine. It's fine. Huh. Huh. This is fine. I gotta go mine. I gotta go mine some coal to get some experience. To... I don't even remember why we have water over here. I need two levels. either fish for it or I can mine for coal. Oh, there's some right there, of course. Six. Okay. Okay, so far he's only found the citrus. Hang on, I gotta do this in steps. I gotta do this. Then I have to go Aww. home again. Take that off to save oxygen. Take this off. 
and then do this and this to put night vision on. Then do this and then do this. And then I need to dump all this stuff off into inventory. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, good call. And I want to put that away. And I'm going to grab uh, diorite to use as building blocks in case I need it. Okay, those are on. Okay, TPA to you. Okay. I am on. Grinch, those two stones behind you, on the wall behind you, is that pure? Yeah, grab those. Thank you. Why am I picking things up? Oh! It's like I'm a magnet. This is kind of weird. Grant, you left the lever! You want to fortune the crystals, okay? Um, I've got my fortune. Hey, Greg, how you doing? So you want to fortune this? The mining machine is amazing and it's working exactly as we hoped. Okay, so that is the dash ore. I can see that one's the charged.
What we don't know is if the drill is going to mine the ores properly or not. I love the fact you can dig yourself in a hole and easily just pop yourself right back out of it. That's so nice. How am I doing on space? Doing good there. Now we can make the charged as well, so... I do not know what that star crawler is. I don't know if it's like passive, if it's just like an animal, or if so I'm just gonna leave it alone. hopes that it'll leave me alone. Oh, and here's some more of that. Pure sky stone block. I don't know if we need like lots of it, just a little bit. All of it. You need all of it. Okay, good to know. Nope, I'm I I will come. Moon cheese. I cannot believe how far you've gotten. So in the time it took me to mine those, look how far he's gotten. We're totally grabbing the glowstone as well, because we are running kind of short on that. another big hazard. Hotox coming in with a 22 month resub. Thank you kindly. This is good grief. And you can see the divots in the side where Grinch has been 
mining as well. Grinch asked if there had been if there was lava on the moon and I was like, I think so. That pretty much confirms there is lava on the moon. Oh, I left one. How are we doing on oxygen? I'm still at quite a bit now. Grinch started off with less oxygen than I did. So we definitely want to keep an eye on his. You're at 57%. Okay. Do we want to take the first batch home to unload? Or you're going to change directions. Gotcha. And they eat. Which doesn't make sense. How can you eat when you're wearing a spacesuit? So far I have got 19 moon dash ore. I've got moon cheese ore. Oops. I have got surges quartz charged. I've got source gems. That means we're going to be able to do some Ars Nouveau. I have some pure skystone block. I've gotten glowstone dust, which is great. And now here we go, headed off in another direction, away from the lava. Even though the lava was on another level. pace for cutting through this moon rock is very good. We have not as of yet run into any mubbage. I like this system that we have of mining the stuff in the walls and the ceiling and the floor as the mine mining contraption keeps making the tunnel.
just make regular cheese. Okay, so nothing earth shattering on the moon cheese front. Why did it fall down there? Okay. And it fell down there again. Yes, more source gems. Grinch, you're using your fortune pick on those, right? Excellent. Oh man, we're going to have a nice haul of materials for doing Arch Nouveau. I can work on that maybe while we're waiting for that mana to come in for working on a structure coming. Oh, there is. There's some sort of, hmm, a round room of some kind. Do you want to put the contraption away and approach it on foot? Was it not a structure? It was just this round, round room. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta get out of the way of the drill. like my journey map is not update. There we go. Now you would think it'd go lickety split. It's gonna go through space here. Oh no, it's gonna have to go through the ceiling.
Oh yeah, no, that moved at a good clip. All of that digging was on one coal? Dang. All of that was on two charcoal? Okay, I am very impressed at the efficiency of this machine. I had seen that red icon on journal map. Excuse me. the end of that corridor go back So much stuff. Time for an AV, AV Navy reminder, self-care. Now would be a great time to take a snack break, grab a drink, restroom break, get up, stretch your legs. Maybe it's getting to be bedtime and you need to take your evening meds. Whatever you need to do to take the best care of you possible, definitely do that. 
thank you as always for the reminder, Amy Navy. Now I have to find my way back to Grinch. It's this way. Back this way. We have 65 left. I think we'll be good. I'm at 76% on my oxygen. Okay, let me go back around this way. Back around this way, back around this way, find one that I dropped earlier. Oh dear! Yeah. He fell down the hole. Clean up any loose blocks. You really have to look for those pure ones because they blend in really well. Whoa! Caught up. I love it. This is working so well. This is a winning proposition for how we're going to tackle mining, preliminary mining of the planets. Grinch was watching one of Tango's videos and oh dear Dude, you need to hold still. And it was showing some pretty cool enhancements for the mining contraption that we may see. Yes, he calls it the Earth Eater. 
It had like 900 drills in it. It was insane. The thing was so wide, you couldn't even see it all on the screen at once. It was huge. <laughs> I mean, just huge. And just carving up this gigantic... Um... Passageways. Just huge tunnels. Oops. But like, they were self-lighting and, um, they would throw away the blocks that, that um, Tango didn't want. Just throw them out the back and let them despawn. And, um, oh, just all sorts of really interesting things. And it was powered by redstone blocks instead of charcoal. Um, so it would basically be infinite fuel. So, some pretty cool stuff. Not gonna lie, I am loving the create mining. Uh, where is he? There he is. I am loving the create mining tool, and I definitely think it's gonna be a valuable resource here for us. I was a little worried, well, is the charcoal going to work when there's no atmosphere? It works just fine. I'm going to use the moon rock to build myself out of that hole to actually See what I mean? They blend in so well, they're really easy to miss.
the wrong way. Oopsie. Good thing I can see Grinch on the map. That's great. At a stack of source gems, from on my end anyway. That's weird. It's not filling in the tunnel we're making. Oh, it's because we're not putting any torches down. Never mind. I'm a doofus. those away because I can't use the torches since we can't do that oh my gosh I'm up to 47 levels that'll come in handy Okay, so we've taken care of these two things, and we've got this. So then we're going to be able to now make Fluix, Fluix Seeds, Pure Quartz Crystals, the Inscriber Processors, and that's going to lead us to the Auto Crafting Table. Oh, so exciting! And it wants us to upgrade our rocket already. It's like, Marsh, Mars, you want to <laughs> Moon, Schmoon, go to Mars. It's like, okay. But that rocket's not good enough. We need to upgrade. I wonder how bad it'll be. Who's Keegan? Keegan? Who's Keegan? Oh my god. Okay. That's dating us. I that's a wow. That's really going back. Glad I jumped up here. More source gems. One more moon glowstone. Not really worried about the iron ore. We don't need that.
Spacesuit's still in good shape. Haven't taken any damage there. Oxygen's at 68%. That's a dead end. Back this way. That's where I jumped through. Give me all the source. Okay, it's going on 10 o'clock. Should we go unload now? Or do you want to keep going? We can check the chest here. I'm I'm getting really full, so I Oh look, okay, so this back barrel is completely filled with moonstone. We get moon cheese, quartz, bluestone. Oh, I didn't see any source. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's source gem. I didn't see. Do we see dash? I don't see I don't see any dash There is no dash in any of these Dash looks like this I've, I've gotten 44 off the walls of the tunnel we've been in. Really? I have 44 of it. <laughs> I mean, that makes me feel better. Dash is 0 to 23. Okay. So I'm, I, maybe I picked it up like when I dipped just below the tunnel we're mining at. I'm, I'm thinking that's probably right. Wait, oh. You took my dash. Okay, so one flaw in our system here is we're too high for dash.
I mean, if we move down, if we move down five, then we would have a chance at least of getting dash. So it's a really good thing I've been running around in the side tunnels because otherwise we would not have been getting dash. And I need the dash to build the tier 2 rocket to get us to Mars. Okay, so how do we process this dash? We either cook it for an ingot. Well, obviously we don't want to do that. Oh, that's the only thing we can do with it. Do you want to go, like, back the way we came? Do you want to start heading west? Whoa, dear. So we're at 21. We're basically going to make one really, 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 really big tunnel. as we find but the dash so glad we stopped to check look up look up What, are you writing the contraption? Oh. Yes, you are writing the contraption. And now you can see where we're going. <laughs>
those starfish looking blue things drop diamonds? Well then, hmm. Those might be worth taking out then. Come come back here. You can always use more diamonds. Okay, I'm getting full, so I'm gonna run home and empty and I'll be right back. Oh, nice. Lots of source gems. So much material. Flux crystals. Very similar to Pretty Pies, but better in every wary shape and form. We know how to make Fluix Crystals, that's not hard. What is this used for? Uh, an ME unstable core. That sounds important. ME wireless access point. Spatial pylons. Follow the quest. I don't even know if I remember some of these things. Uh. Oop! <laughs> oh, Grinch almost got a diamond pickaxe in the head. <laughs> this is all custom stuff? Oh god, I'm so screwed. The little puffs of smoke are just so cute. Alright, while I'm thinking about it... Home. Do dink. Two of those... Come on. Nether quartz and redstone. 
And that Why did our water puddle freeze? That was weird. I have broken it so Grinch does not turn into something odd when he gets back from the moon. Okay. Fluid seed. Say hi to the fluid seed. These can be tossed in water to start growing. Don't worry, they don't despawn. Blame Winston? Oh, that make yeah. I'm sure having a penguin in the tree, the entire temperature has just dropped by 10 degrees. Or more. When they're fully grown, you'll receive some pure fluix crystals, which will be used in other recipes. Make sure you use them in a crystal growth unit. So you don't have to wait that much for them to grow. Which is going to be sand with fluix dust, which is from crushing them. Which then I throw them in there. I wonder if Grinch has Frostwalker on his boots? Or did I come back from the moon very cold and that caused it to... You have Frostwalker. Okay, so that's why the water froze up is from the Frostwalker. I totally would have figured... crushing wheels. Like Grinch keep mining and we'll wait, what? You can I almost drowned. I was totally ready to throw Winston under the bus too, and oh, don't. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. And we're not talking about the tree farm. Not, not saying a word about the tree farm. Just brought a little of the tree with it. We're back up to over 400, which is very good. I didn't know you could walk on lava with Frostwalker. Huh. Okay, so there's the seeds. I'm going to sit on those for now because I need to get that crystal growth unit thing. Oh, speaking of which, there it is. You can't just use regular fluid crystals, right? You have to use pure ones. Well, of course, there's a pure one. Crystal growth. Black iron ingot, black iron slate, a centrifuge. Okay. Signalum gear, another redstone flux cell. Blah. Two blocks of fluix, two electrolyzed alloy overcharged. Okay. 20 minutes! Twenty minutes? Okay, I I think I think I think I think we know what we're gonna do, um 
do tomorrow is we will be uh, working on that because that'll take the whole weekend. Oy. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh no! I did a bad thing. I did a goof. No, you do not want to fall off the front. No, that would be bad. Now that's an interesting view though. <laughs> Carefully come forward and look down. Oh my god. Oh, interesting. So the source gem takes longer to break than the moon rock does. Also, I did not see, I don't remember seeing any of that pure rock. That requires a diamond pickaxe to mine, so I don't know if the drills are capable of picking that up. Like, if they run into a block like that, and they can't pick it up, does it break without providing a block? Or would the machine get jammed up and it would stop? Or maybe it can break it, I don't know. Oh, there's one of those thingies! I was going to shoot it, but now you're in the way. Yes, but you're not impervious to my flame. Well, no, wait, you might have fire protection on, so maybe you are. Well, except he's too far away, I can't hit him. They are impervious to arrows? Really? Then why did he just burn to death? Just being the bait. How helpful. I guess if there's a random diamond in there. Oh, yes, I've been writing for a while. Uh, here we go. Why am I up here?
Hello? Help? What's going on? My umbrella was pulling me up? That was weird. I know, right? That was weird. All right. Let's grab the materials from when we returned. That's too high. It's on top of the machine! Oh, this is a problem. We've got, we've got, Houston, we have a problem. He did drop a diamond and rotten flesh. How bizarre. How are we doing on space here? I am at 56% oxygen. Twenty-seven percent, and the digger is full. Then I think we should probably go unload. Don't you think? Yes, because I have the celestial gateway parked right outside the village, we'll be good to go. Well, hang on just a second. Do, do we want to keep the moon rocks or do we want to void them? Because we could set the moon rocks up to um, go to garbage if we don't think we're going to need them. Moon, moon stone. We can make moon bricks. 
Oh, we're going to need it for arcane stone. Huh. Never mind, we're going to need it. Ignore me. We're going to need it. I'll go check on space. Oh. Take take your chest plate off to save oxygen. Huh. I've been doing that. Oh, excellent. Let's go see what we have for storage space in here. Hello, George. How you doing? Um, let's see. Empty, 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 empty. Has room. Empty. These sides are full. That one's empty. That one's empty. That one's empty. There's still quite a few empty ones. And, oh, I was in a look. Pure. Pure. Okay, we have 19. Yes, we are ready to unload. We have 19 pure now. Where's my pen? Pen? Pen. 19. Thar, she blows! Okay, that's 570 Moonstone. Now 634. 2018. <laughs> That's a lot. Almost a thousand Certus and 62 charge Certus, which I've used a little bit of that. Oh, there comes a batch of source gems. Stuff is bouncing around. Oh, there's 18 skies, pure sky stone block. So it was grabbing it. <laughs> You're unloading you too, oops. <laughs> That's why I had to come home because I was getting full. <laughs> Oh, there's some more dash coming in. Mm. 
There's George wanting to check it out. Okay, so everything is... Oh, here comes more. Is the chest downstairs empty now? Okay, so let's see what we got. George. You can't be using that. A <gasps> hundred and one pure skystone blocks. Oh my gosh. That's very good. Uh, 9,271 moonstone. That is not so good. The machine was picking it up. Yes. We have... 59 moon dash ore. So we did pick up 15 once we moved down a few more blocks. We did pick up 15 more of that. Then Certus, we got 1500 regular Certus and 109 charge certus i've used four of them that's great and then source gems 294 so almost 300 source gems that's awesome That's dash, pure sky stone block, source gems, and then two certus. So now I can set up the crystal growth unit, make pure fluix crystals, and then we'll be able to make the inscriber, the I hate automation machine. This is, this is very accurate. Uh, it is not, is not an easy thing to automate. This is, this is absolutely correct. So we have to get up to here and get the advanced auto crafting table to be able to unlock The tier two rocket. Okay. But we got to the moon. Does that mean the moon is going to get us to be AE2? Or does the Mars, we need Mars for AE2. So that's just Fluix. Appetite, potassium nitrate, dry ice, and silicon. Oh, snap. I'm going to need silicon is going to come from Mars. Okay. So it's limited AE stuff here. That'll expand to include silicon once we go to Mars. Okay. Excellent. Oh. 
All right. Well, I'm going to put my... Spacesuit, chest plate. Actually, no. Let's put the whole thing. Put my spacesuit in here so I don't lose it. So that would be bad. That would be really bad to lose my spacesuit. And that way. Yours is in your indestructible backpack. Well, that is a good place to put it. And then, should we need to go to the moon again, you can always swap out your chest plate with my chest plate for the oxygen, or we can use the chemical tank upstairs to move oxygen between chest plates. But we have more than enough resources to get started down AE2 and we can click that to start Ars Nouveau which is such a fun magic mod I'll need to figure out where in the tree to get that started. Just what you want. More magic. Yay. It'll be fun. No. I know you like the tech mods better because they make logical sense and the magic ones don't. And oh, we froze the water again. It'll be fine. Well, folks, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this week's space-filled episode. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the moon and watching how we used Create to do our mining. I think it's going to be a very effective way for us to... Yes, moon! I think it's going to be a very effective way for us to do mass mining since we do not yet have digital mining or an excavator so I'm very happy about that and now we have more pathways open because we can work on early AE2 and we can work on Ars Nouveau and more Batania I mean lots of the lots of different pathways are now open to us so very excited about that so with that I hope everybody has a great rest of your evening Tomorrow is Selection Sunday for March Madness, so I will be eagerly watching to see both Nebraska men's and women's get their invites so that they can go dancing. And then I will be watching wall-to-wall -wall basketball starting on Thursday through next weekend, so I will probably not be streaming the next couple of Saturdays because I will be watching basketball, but... That might change. We will see. But maybe I will get a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday stream in when there isn't any basketball to make up for that. So, because, you know, for me, March Madness is a holiday. And I look forward to this time every year. And this year will be so special because my teams are actually going to be in it. So, I hope everybody enjoyed. I know I had fun and... Grinch's mining contraption did amazing. So we'll definitely be putting it to work to get me more supplies. Yeah, you can use your claw and dig more. It'll be great. So everybody, thanks so much. Have a good one. And don't forget, we got to check out District Spark's stream tomorrow to find out about the horrible accident that happened where he wants us all to stay away from his base. I know we're all very eager to find out what went wrong. So we will see you tomorrow and maybe there will be evidence of explosions. I don't know. We just have to wait and see.
Yes. Accident. Yes. We don't know the nature of the accident, but we are eager to find out what has occurred. So I had fun tonight. It was great playing with you all. And I'll catch. Yes. <laughs> Amy Navy does like her booms. <laughs> uh, thank you for the resub. Potox, do you appreciate it? And we'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.